Southern was already scheduled to be the last team on the field in Fort Worth, but after sitting through a two-hour rain delay Wednesday night, their game was postponed until early Thursday morning. And after the grounds crew got the field in playing condition, the Jags took the field at 9 a.m. in the shadow of downtown Fort Worth. Unfortunately, the Bats missed the early wake-up. In the second, Gavin Webster K's with the bases loaded. Jesse Holiday was cruising until the top of the third when Dion Hall connects with one, a solo shot to make it one nothing Bulldogs. But that was the only blemish in the fourth runner at second, no one out, but Holiday escapes the inning and ends it with a strikeout. And then finally, the Jags give him some offensive support. In the bottom of the inning, Kevin Williams lines the ball to center field. Brandon Crutcher can't make the diving catch, and it's a two-run triple, 2-1 two Southern. Then in the sixth, after making it 3-1, to one, Jose De La Torre crushes one down the line, a three-run shot to make it 6-1. The Jags would add another. And in the ninth, Holiday closes it out. A complete game, four-hit, eight-strikeout performance as Southern wins 7-1. After I gave up that home run, I just focused back up and uh, tried to get ahead. And when uh, I was ahead, I was relying really on my fastball today and trying to spot up away and inside up on them. Yeah, we needed those hits in the right time, and uh, fortunately we got them at the right time. I mean, four RBIs by me, and, and then, De then uh, Jose hitting that big home run, a three-run home run, helped us out a lot. So because of the condensed schedule, Roger Cador's team was back at it after 10 p.m. for their second round game. And once again, the Jags bats start slow. Marcus Tomlin with two on. Strikes out to end the inning. This was a night where Jose De Leon lived dangerously. Bottom of the second, base hit to left, and they are sending Brandon Castro. And that's a mistake. Tyler Kirksey guns him down at the plate to end the inning. Bottom of the third, two on, and Richard Gonzalez singles the left center, and it's 2-0 Hornets. Now 3-1 in the top of the fifth, DJ Wallace with the bases juiced, and he launches one into the Fort Worth night. A grand slam, and it's 5-3 Jags. De Leon in trouble in the sixth. Bases loaded in, no one out. And De Leon somehow strikes out the side and again is fired up. In the top of the seventh, insurance for Southern. Now up 7-3, and Wallace has another RBI with this single. It's 8-3. They would lead 9-3. But De Leon ran out of gas, and the bullpen couldn't hold the lead. Josh Powell gives up the RBI double to Emmanuel Marrero, and it's 9-8 in the bottom of the ninth. Second and third, and Raul Perez is squeezing. Brian Rowry can't handle it. One run scores. Here comes Marrero all the way from second. And just like that, the Jaguars are stunned on a night when they put themselves in too many bad situations. That's part of baseball. We left pitches over the plate where we had, you know, opportunity to work off the plate and we miss over the plate and they made us pay for it. Obviously a demoralizing loss. What do you tell these guys to uh, bounce back and now have to win uh, two tomorrow? Well, I pretty much told them, you know, if you could live forever, you could see anything. And uh, tonight you saw a way to lose a game I've never seen before. The Jaguars didn't have long to dwell on that shocker because they were on the field 12 hours later against Prairie View. Daniel Garcia on the hill for Southern, but wasn't comfortable from the outset. Loading the bases in the first with no one out, but escaping, giving up just one run. But in the second, more trouble, and Andre Oliver lines it back up the middle, a two-run single, and it's 3-0 Prairie View. And just a few pitches later, Garcia was done after just one and two-thirds innings. In the bottom of the inning, Southern begins to chip away. Harley Wiltz goes to right center with this rope to drive in one, and it's 3-1. Now 7-2 in the fifth, Jose De La Torre with the line drive to right to make it 7-3. But that's as close as they got. Prairie View extended the lead and then closed out Southern in the ninth, the final 11-4. No, I think what happened today has a lot to do with what happened 24 hours ago where you know, we gave up a big lead, six runs with five hours to go. And uh, even though we out hit them today, got a lot of hit, we wouldn't be able to punch, bunch them together and make them work for runs. I look around and I see Jesse hugging every one of his teammates. I, I'm guessing even for you and obviously for the players, that's one of the hardest parts is this is the end for some of the, some really good kids. Yeah, Doc Holliday's crying and it's been such a wonderful run with him and Danny Garcia and Josh Power and Derek Hopkins and uh, Kevin Williams. And uh, when you start naming, you always miss somebody. But it's been a real, and J-Lo, Jeremy Lopez. It's been a really good run. So, you know, we're happy about what they were able to accomplish here. 
Most of those kids will graduate. I think that's the most important thing at the end of the day. Southern came here to LaGrave Field, winners of the Western Division. They were just three outs away from the bracket final. Then in the span of 17 stunning hours, the Jaguars had lost two games and were sent home without the SWAC title for the fourth straight year. In Fort Worth, Texas, Paul Boron for Jaguar Nation.